Alright, let's find and question the line. Soon as we're done selecting clothes. All right, we finished our outfits. Now let's complete the mission. Have you tried the comet cocktail? It's out of this world. Well, actually, I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Aren't we all? Me? I want a leggy Vulcan with a liberal attitude toward interspecies relations. So, are you looking for someone in particular, or uh, just some company? Actually, her name is Zamara. Do you know her? Oh yeah, I know Zamara. Maybe she's been here recently, and uh, maybe she hasn't. My memory is kind of uh, hazy. Well, perhaps we could work on some sort of agreement. Yeah, I'm sure we can. In fact, I feel my memory clearing up already. <laughs> I tell you, I know you Starfleet types are big on lack, but what you do have are skills and a willingness to get your hands dirty. That's what I need right now. Our replicators are on the fritz. Maybe it's a whole power system because lights are going wonky too. But a little blue mood lighting isn't as big a problem for me as unfilled drink orders. Okay. Go to the cargo bay and get my replicators working. By the time you're done, I'm sure I will have remembered where I last saw Zaman. You better remember, or I'll come back and snap your spine.
Well, I got your replicators working. They are! And I am exceedingly pleased by your generous offer to repair them for no compensation. I can't let you go away empty-handed, though. How about I give you a 15% discount on drinks and souvenirs for an amount of time to be determined by management? Um, no. But we had a deal. The replicators for information about Zamara. Fine. A deal's a deal, right? <laughs> Never let it be said that I'll cheat on a valued customer like yourself. But personally, I don't know why you're so interested in her. She's a lover, but just try talking to her. She's more paranoid than an obsidian order agent in a room full of how she are. <laughs> Zamara usually hangs out here at the Dabo Tunes. Keep an eye out for a looker wearing purple. If you can't miss her. All right, thanks. Good. Hello. She's wearing purple. You know, like the purchase with the holiday collections. Oh, okay. Never mind. Be careful. They're watching. What? I'm not the mood for a chat right now, thanks. Shh. Hey, who? Keep your voice down. I'm being watched. I've seen too many familiar faces in the crowd. And there are... Shadows, watchers, the dark. I see them out of the corner of my eye when they think I'm not looking, but I'm always looking. When the lights change, there they are. Watch yourself, they're everywhere. You weren't sent to, I help, was sent to me. help you. You were sent to watch me. Drake needs me to keep eating information to Starfleet intelligence. The Klingons come here and they drink and talk. It's amazing the bits of information you can pick up around a Dabo table. Everything, even the smallest detail, is important. Captain Gerard was in here last week. He ordered blood oil, an entire bottle of the 2309 vintage, to be exact. That business with the House of Torg must have upset him when he knew. When Gerard's happy, he drinks Warnock. Hmm. Watch yourself, they're everywhere. Tell me more about what happened to the House of Torg. Torg was on the High Council until he made a plan to destroy the House of Martar. He was partially successful. Mavan, son of Drex, is dead. The House has no heir unless Drex takes a new mate and fathers a new son. But Martok's widow is wise. Her son, Drex, was off fighting in the war. So Lady Serena called in KDF officers to defend her house. They hmm. exposed Torg's treachery. And Jempop was forced to discommodate him. Okay. As to why that would make Gerard unhappy? Torg raised Gerard after his mother died. Now he's an outcast, and his house has fallen. Gerard cannot speak to him without losing his own honor. Hmm. Okay. Watch yourself. They're everywhere. Alright, so what can I do to help you then? Find out who's watching me. I'm not safe here. The Klingons are looking for me. They know someone has been feeding intelligence to Starfleet. The ghosts are always watching. Their eyes are hungry. Yesterday, they surrounded a drunken Klingon. Now, he's dead. They will find me when the blue light shines, and then I'll disappear. I know what the ghosts are. How could you know that? You may think you know. You may even have readings in your tricorder that you think are right. But you don't know. How could you know? I'm here every day. They watch me, and I watch them. Well, just to make sure, I could take you someplace safe. No, they're everywhere. They're watching. You've been here too long. Someone will know us that we're together. Go do something else. Play Dabo. I'll contact you when I'm ready. When it's safe. All right, um, I'll see you then. What?
spin oh, the wheel goes. and win. Alright, uh, give me a tutorial about it. Place your bet and keep your eye on the wheel. You start by setting the amount of your bet in energy credits or gold press latinum. Then, select the slot you want to bet on. You can bet on up to three slots at a time and bet up to a hundred energy credits or gold press latinum per slot. Okay. Click the Place Bets button when you're satisfied with your bets, and that's it. If you win, you'll be paid for the results of each slot, and that can add up fast. Let's play some Dabo then. Okay, uh... Add... Yeah, let's, let's bet 10. Slot... Go for three, thirteen, and twenty-three. All right. Talk now? You don't need to worry about me. I'm going to leave this place to the ghosts. They seem to belong here more than we do. I booked passage on a ship. You don't need to know which one. Just tell Drake. He'll keep getting his intel. One way or another. Good luck. You're going to need it. Thank you. All right. Be safe. Live long and prosper. Watch it. Later, Zamara. Lieutenant Kalepo in Deep 7-6. Alright, return to the ship. Okay. Let's depart the system. Tell me about yourself. I grew up on trading ships, making supply runs in the bullion sector. 
It was exciting, but it was crazy too. I never knew where I was going to be, or if my parents were going to have enough Latin to keep the ship flying. Then there was that time with the Orion Pirates, and let's just say it wasn't the best environment for a child. All I've ever wanted was stability. I used to envy the kids on the colony worlds we served. For a while, I even thought about becoming a farmer. I wanted to wake up at the same time every day, go to the same job every day, even eat the same food most days. I liked working on a star base. It has a little bit of unpredictability, but every night my quarters are there waiting for me, and they're always in the same place. Hmm. Good luck, and stay safe. Okay, um, well... The main reason why I'm here is there are Devidians in the neutral zone. So that explains why Drake was interested in the prototype. It was a complete mm. failure at detecting polarization cloaks. But if I added a phase modulator and reversed the polarity, these modifications should be no problem. And when I'm done, this beam will pack quite a bunch against phase shifted Davidians. I'll forward the weapon on to Drake as soon as I'm done. Be careful. The Davidians won't stop. I'm afraid we'll have to be ready to fight. Okay. Well, I'm always ready for a fight. Good. Let's leave the system. Kalapo, thank you. Let's report it. Good work. Zamara may think she has slipped my noose, but I always have ways of keeping tabs on her. I take special care to know all about people in whom I have an interest. But you already know that, don't you? The ghosts that Zamara mentioned concern me, however. You already encountered Davidians once. It's likely they're on Drazana Station as well. And well, I won't let them, them use Federation citizens as food. Lieutenant Kalapo has completed work on the Synchronic Distortion Prototype Rifle. It should help you when you're ready to enter the lower levels of Drazana. Drake out. All right. Hmm. 46. 5 to 15 shield. Okay. Until yeah, next time. Lieutenant Commander. Okay, so... We can either do satellite repair later, or what lies beneath. But, until next time... It's clear the Davidians are more of a problem than we initially thought. We know they're in the neutral zone. Now we know they're on Drazana Station as well, and according to Zamara, there have already been deaths there. In addition, she indicated that the lower levels of the station were a trouble spot. Those levels aren't used as part of the club there, and they haven't been maintained for years, and Ferengi are, of course, quite reticent to put any effort into maintenance that isn't absolutely necessary. That means we don't really know what's down there. Zamara's code should get you access. Take a lift down and check it out. Previous Starfleet encounters with Davidians have indicated that they will create nests around the temporal portals they use, so keep an eye out for anomalies. If we find the portal, we'll know where and when the Davidians are feeding. Oh, and I expect it to be messy down there. Don't forget to take an emergency beacon. Alright. Alright, let's accept the mission and we can continue on. Until next time. Yep, because we have time. Alright, Colas, depart the system. Take us out. Aye, aye, Captain. We have arrived. At the Trezana station, what do you want to do? Cola is dock us in and transport. Beam me down. Hmm. Not even three seconds down here and I'm already needing my team. Oh, uh, I guess this is a team level. All right, away team. Beam down here. Meet you down. Sir, I'm reading temporal fluctuations and transit energy in these levels of the station. Staying down here for too long could be hazardous. The interference also may make it difficult to contact the ship or to get a transport alert if we need an emergency beam out. This level primarily contains power junctions and an EPS conduit for the rooms above us. We need to reach the maintenance lift and take it down to the computer core. Alright. Let's do this then. First, let's get this box. Lift box of emergency supplies. 
Atlas isn't just lying around. Then it probably battered with the Nausicaan character. I recognize these flashlight drones. Man's three hover system. The program is shift in response to your movement. Not the most reliable design, though. Well, as long as they work, then I'm cool with it. Oh, so this is what you were talking about. Cool. Hovering flashlight drones. Nice. How convenient. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Hey, the Chris, there must be Davidians nearby. I bet that we will see more as we approach the area with the greatest concentration of trilic energy. Sir, I'm also picking up some intermediate reading behind the door to our left. However, the interference from the trilic waves are making it hard to get accurate scans at a distance. Yep, I expect to see more of them too. But let's find our way to getting through that door. First, let's check out to see if there's anything here. Ooh, one anomaly in the area. And this door is the anomaly, apparently. Maybe? Let's, let's see real quick. Nope, it's leading me back to the door. I was right the first time. Is there anything here? Nope. Pointless. Okay, let's not waste any more time and open this door. Looks like this door is stuck, sir. We'll have to find another way around. One of these side maintenance passages should have an option, right? Okay, let's find our way then. Ow! What the? Spiders? In space? Sounds like a cheesy 50 film. Spiders in space! You thought they were creepy on Earth, but they're even creepier in space. Da -da 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 -da. That's a movie I'd pay to see. Okay, let's get on with it. Hmm. Gotta scan this dead body. This poor lady suffered from triolic radiation poisoning. It seems that he's been here for a while, sir. Even if the Davidians used his neural energy, it's still too dangerous to be close to their nest. There's nothing we can do for him now due to the temporal flux disrupting the transporters. Once we get out of here, we can beam the body up and notify station security. Okay, we'll notify security as soon as we're done here then. But until now, we have to find their maintenance lift. Captain, it appears that the maintenance levels are suffering from intermittent power problems. The EPS conduits are probably overloaded due to the temporal fluctuations. This station here and many of the components are more than a century old, sir. I'm seeing triolage surges near the maintenance lift and across multiple levels. But nothing that can be consistently tracked. Okay, thank you, Travel. But... In my note, I don't really think it's electrical. See? I think it's more astronomical. The power seems to work, but only in certain areas. Let's search the area to see if we can find out more of the problem. Hmm. Alright, not gonna search that dead body, because it's pretty much just like the other ones we're gonna find. Same problems. Alright, there's nothing in here so far. Okay, let's go through this. Ow! <laughs> Just targeted an enemy that didn't even hit me. And that enemy was a wall? The ceiling? What the hell? Anyways, that was nonsense. Well, you know, nonsense disclosing nonsense. Alright, height, then width. Perfect. See, what they need to do is go back in here and rewrite their texts and do their speeches because their grammar in this game is off. And it seems like they rushed it. Kind of like this. But don't get me wrong, this game is awesome. I'll play this game after I beat the storyline. But I'm just editing all the stuff out that they could be fixing or hopefully... Star Trek Online gets to see my videos and fix all the problems as I disclose them, because, well, that's my job. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the 
Spiders? Again? Dang it, I missed it. Get it! Get it! What do you- wait! What do you- no, no, get out of my way! Ha, huh, dead. Huh, well that's one way of getting rid of the rest of them. Don't use a swatter, don't use bug spray, use a grenade. Might blow up your house, but it'll solve your pesky pest problems. <laughs> Who needs the Orkin Man when you've got grenades? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, check this area to see if there's anything else and go to this door. Alright team, be careful. Use the photon rifle. Alright, you don't have to tell me twice. With these ghosts, I'm in Ghostbuster mode. When something strange going on in space, who you gonna call? Max Nonsense! When the aberrant being that's all in your face, who you gonna call? Max Nonsense! I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. The Davidians are definitely getting more aggressive as we get closer to their territory. I noticed that. The synchronetic photon rifle should have a significant effect against the Davidians. The photon beam mode will be especially effective while the Davidians are phase shifted. Right, like Ghostbusters. In space! Where's Dan Aykroyd when you need him? Okay. So, nothing here. No anomalies in this area. Alright, let's check out this computer. So let's put the left on emergency lockdown. Let's override the lockdown code to access it. Alright, well you're the engineer, so take care of that problem, Zarva. No? Okay. I guess I'm playing the role as three. I should do it. I wonder why someone would lock down the left in the first place. Well, I could think of a few good reasons. To keep whatever out, out and keep whatever in, in, and contain the problem. My biggest concern is, what are they hiding? Yeah, it appears that they let this stuck. We're seeing a lot of maintenance level for environmental controls and waste recycling. Great. We need to track down the damage junctions on this floor, and repair or bypass them before we can take the lift to the computer core level. Okay. Well then, let's take care of the control relays, and activate the relay the backup and then look for the encryption key more spiders well that's pretty cool kind of reminds me of the electric gun from uh, destroy all humans Captain, the door. We're locked in. uh oh someone's locked the door with the encryption key it looks like the key itself is a quite a long so, if we don't find the key, we could be stuck here for a long time. Um, this part right here I didn't completely finish because it just makes no sense. Zarva's with me. I mean, if she was on the ship, then that'd be understandable, but <laughs> it makes no sense to, even, to make that story with it. I'm just exposing nonsense because she's on my away team. So how could the connection be lost if she's with me? But whatever. The strange power fluctuations are related to the problems in the power subsystems on the upper decks. So I'm looking into the possibility of feedback damage or spikes in the environmental systems. It can take some time to find the problem and make repairs, though. Particularly if I need to use the replicators to create replacement components. But Milan is loath to allow use of the replicators for anything more than blood wine and vermilion sand beans. This is dirty, uncomfortable, and thoroughly disagreeable work. Naturally, as soon as the job involves mucking around in the recycled atmosphere and waste processing, I get the short straw. Okay. Well, that was some exposition and the jargon of nonsense. That's what they say then. 
but in reality what's going on now is I'm spotting the temporal fluxes from these Davidians as it seems to be now I gotta individually go relay to relay try to get to the computer core level when Davidians appear after you just fix the relay who you gonna call Max nonsense yeah I love that song good thing it's parody I'd be getting sued <laughs> All right, let's continue on until we actually find the real problem here. This room looks promising. Hmm, let's check out the area to see. Looks like a study hall. Study computer lounge. Oh, Davidians! When they won't go away, and you need to fix a relay, who are you gonna call? Max, nonsense! All right, team, just remember, don't cross the streams. Awesome. Disruptor, hypo, hypo, 15 expertise, and we have a science kit module. Nice. All right, let's bypass relay number three. Now we need two and four. Hmm. Okay. I see you. No anomalies. Ow. Alright, cool. Good thing we have shields. Be careful, crew. This guy's playing a 2001 Space Odyssey. Soon we're gonna have to be open up a pod bay These doors, Hal. to be controlled remotely. It would not be safe for someone to stand near them while they activate them. Captain, if you remember your wave interference from the Academy, you might be able to jam the remote signal. Okay, that's actually a really good idea. Thanks, Trebell. Alright, let's scan. Cool. Alright, I guess that worked. Alright, let's uh, continue on and get to this on the relay here. Well, that's not how you do it. Okay, cool. What the? It's trouble! Take him out, crew! Captain, he just vanished. Yeah, I noticed that. That was weird. Alright, let's go investigate further. Let's see if we can find the source of the problem. There it is again! Is that the... Check out this council. Hello? Is someone there? Who is this? Please, you have to help me. I came down here to check on one of the atmosphere regulators. And someone shot me. Who shot you? I'm not sure. I, I didn't get a good look. He was so fast. Please, you have to find a way to open this door and get me out of here. All right, all right. Um, I'm activating the manual override right now. Try to reach the release lever. Oh, Prophet, no! He's back! He's... No! Ah! Log entry supplemental. I've upgraded a few of the components on this level, including remote overrides for bleed valves on environment controls, hollow emitters to expedite further repairs, and security overrides in case of emergency. I'm starting to suspect that the low-level radiation I've detected on these decks has affected the station inhabitants. 
and that some are showing signs of transient acute schizophrenia and paranoia. I'll have to maintain contact silence for now, so that they don't interfere while I'm trying to repair the systems. Once I've corrected the problems causing the radiation leaks, we can deal with the symptoms. Log entry supplemental. My work here would take far longer than I originally anticipated. Unfortunately, I've engaged a safety interlock on the maintenance lift, so no one will come down here without me knowing about it. I found several program errors that have purged the affected subroutines. The work is much easier now. Soon, everything will be under control. Well, he's the reason why everything's messed up. From the radiation to everybody's death, to the Davidians, to a locked maintenance lift. There's just there's something that we still haven't figured out yet. Now let's get this out the way. Wait a minute. This must be the woman that we talked to on the intercom. It appears she has multiple phaser burns and contusions. She was murdered just a few minutes ago. Her wounds Damn. are still warm. There's no other exits or entrances in this room. And transporters are offline. How could she be killed if she was alone in the locked room? I'm thinking the same exact thing. I mean, hold on, let me scan the area to see if this... If there's any other... No, there's no anomalies. Um, nothing I can detect. That is really weird. I didn't detect any hidden doors or secret latches. Hmm, there's a person here. Maybe he could help. He must be the reason for all this. Let's take him out, everyone! More Davidians! When there's ghosts in space, that's summoned by a boss. Who are you gonna call? Max Nonsense! Take that, you SOB! Ha! Ow! Little. You're going down. A malfunctioning ah. hologram? No oh. wonder. The trionic energy would have degraded his program and caused instability. I read something and about the this in the academy. Didn't bother it because it had no neural energy for them to feed upon. And sir, it looks like the encryption key for the door might correspond to submerged routine embedded in the hologram's mobile emitter. We should be able to use it to open the door. Mobile emitters are still rare outside of Starfleet, Captain. The staff here must have spent a lot of platinum to obtain one, if you ask me. Ellen might be selling more than drinks in Dabo. It would be best if someone keeps an eye on him. But I have a feeling Franklin Drake is doing just that. Okay. Well, going back to malfunctioning holograms, I read something in the Science Academy where the Voyager of Lieutenant... Bolana, Taurus, and the Hollow Doctor discovered a chaotic hologram. Okay, let's go to it then. Alright. Uh, down this hallway? Huh. What is this? Another locked door? This one doesn't seem to have any special codes. We should be able to open it from the secondary security council that's just down this hallway. Okay, cool. It's less work we have to do. Less things we have to worry about. One anomaly. Alright, let's take out this relay real quick. More Davidians! That should do it! We need to double back to that secure door that we saw earlier in the hallway! Well, you thought you were safe! And there's ghosts in your place. Who are you gonna call? Max! Nonsense! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh, it's still fun, though.
Alright, there's nothing down here. There's still more of you! Alright, we're gonna have to take them out then. Completely close this portal. Hmm. All right. Uh, the only thing we can do now is do descend to the computer core. Is there anything else here? It seems like there is. Where's that anomaly at? I swear I thought I seen an anomaly. Uh, whatever. Let's get out of here. Don't waste any more time. Especially the ones who are watching. Okay. Hmm. More dead bodies. Okay. Thanks, Sarva. Alright, let's go around here and see what we can discover. There's nothing around here. Let's check these bodies out. I have a feeling they're different than the other ones. Sir, this person is from the 23rd century. The Davidians must be bringing their victims through time. We have to stop them before they're responsible for any other deaths. They could disrupt the timeline. So does that mean that they're from the past? Or are they from the future? And are they able to jump through time? Whoa! 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 Um... That was a first. We don't have to fight them. But why would they just stand there and not attack? Hmm. There's so much that we don't know. And there's so much that we need to find out. Hmm, crap. We gotta go back upstairs. Or up this ramp. Check to see what's in this. More Davidians! But what's weird about these ones are... They're not called Davidians. I'm reading Umbral and Visitor. Are they some sort of... Davidian? I don't know, but we got an integrating targeting system and a Folly Wave Armor MK4. Oh, Weave. Alright, let's scan this here. Alright. Height and width. Perfect. Every time! Duranium. Or in the 80s used to call it Duran Duranium. <laughs> This appears to be a regulator room for the computer core's power systems. The Davidians are probably leeching power from the station to keep their gate active. We could use this console to set up a power spike that, that we could trigger near the computer core, which might disrupt the Davidians and their gates. Hmm. Smart this idea, Chabal. Like a field control station for the lower levels of the station. We could set up the field systems here so that we can activate them in the computer core area. To counteract the Davidians facing abilities, that would put them out of sync with our universe. Cool. Hopefully we can find a portal that we can close and shut them out for good. But until then, let's take care of all the power relays and get to that computer core level. Or to the computer core. More spiders! Spider Max, Spider Max, killing spiders with photons. Ow! Oh, there's a spider behind me. Thanks, Coles. Don't mention it. You know, I wasn't gonna hit my captain. 
You're a good guy. This is a good team. You have my back as well as you, as I have yours. So I had to squash a little Spidey, you know. Right. Who thinks? What the? The umbrals and visitors are leading us somewhere. Maybe they want us to see something. Phantom! That's new! Wait! We seen the Phantom last time! This is doing little damage, but it's doing some damage. Oh man. Ow! It's got me! Alright. I really do feel like we're in Ghostbusters. All we need is the Phantom Trap, and that's it. All right, everybody, put on your on your beams and direct them into the trap, and then we'll just store them at the headquarters. Wow, there's a lot of dead bodies. Those are old uniforms. Sir, the Davidians' time portal heads back to the 23rd century. There's yep. no telling how much trouble the Davidians may be causing in the past. The technology exactly. to detect them doesn't exist. Once we get readings on the portal, we should take them back to Deep Space K-7. Their computing facilities are far more expensive than what we have on the nonsense. And they might be able to find a way to shut down the portal. No anomalies. Yep, hopefully we can shut it down for good. Their outfits look like the old Starfleet. Before Picard. Alright, we got another portal. Alright, I'm gonna scan it real quick. If I can let me scan it. There it goes. The distortion from the portal is intense here. It's difficult to process all of this information. We should at least be able to compensate just enough to beam out. We need to take this information back to the nearest Starbase K-7 for analysis. Yes. Their computers are powerful enough to process it. Alright. Well, we will do that here in a few minutes. What we have to do is we have to continue to go back and regulate the core systems. We need to use the case. We'll go to K-7 after. Let's get this optional mission first. Nope. I, I tried landing on top of that, but <laughs> it didn't work out the way I thought. It's not dying light, Max. It's not dying light. Alright, we already scanned that. So we need to find the exit. In case you're wondering, no, I didn't walk under a ladder. It's considered a ramp. But if you do, you gotta say, bad luck, no bad luck. And then it goes away. But you gotta throw salt over your right shoulder. Superstition? I like to think so. Hmm, seems normal. No, not normal. Well, at least we don't have to deal with another phantom. Grenades work against aberrations? Who would have thought? Man, someone needs to put her away. Someone needs to come back and clean this mess. Make sure all the bodies have proper, proper burials. Okay, there's no anomalies. Alright. Let's... 
use this last relay and when we're out of here all right cool <sighs> excuse me by the way you know I don't even know why I'm running down here for maybe to check what's left I mean it does show a fluctuation of their thing but let's just get out of here team already beamed to the ship I guess it was my spotlight hmm. sure all right beam me up That was one heck of a mission. All right, let's uh, exit out of here. Colas, depart system. Hi, Captain. We've arrived at deep K7. All right, dock it and beam me down. Hi, Captain. All right, everyone, I'm going solo. Beam me down. Transport. All right. Now that we're in the station, where do we have to go? Use K7 computers to analyze scan data. Hmm. So it's not in the other door. It's not in the shipyard. It's not in the armory. Definitely not in the club. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Things are right under my nose. Alright, let's use this. Or glitch use it, I guess? analysis. Temporal incursion consistent with Davidian time portal technology. Approximate link date. Start eight two seven one five six. Earth standard year. Two two six five. Davidian portal based on phase shifted tachyon spin supported by draw from Drusana Station, power supply. Can the portal be safely closed or used? Portal suffers from instability due to quantum particle entanglement with phase shifted particles. Portal can be enlarged or accessed with modulated directed energy when phase shifted entangled matter reaches critical point. Excellent, so there is a way. Awesome. Well, we're going to have to go back in time. When the trionic energy surges peak. We could remod you laid an energy weapon to use the portal, and travel back in time. We could stop the Davidians at the source. That's exactly my thoughts. Alright, let's return to the ship and hail. Hmm, that's interesting. We're going to the past to fix the problem of the future? Now that Excellent. Now the Davidians have a portal to the past, and approximately where they are focusing their attention, I see no other choice than to send you and your crew back there to stop them before they kill again. Exactly my thoughts. Time travel is a tool. At times, it is a useful one. I know Starfleet has hundreds of regulations about temporal incursions, but my job is to preserve the Federation, not make Admiral Quinn and the rest of the suits at Starfleet Command happy. Right. If we break a few rules along the way, so be it. I need to make some preparations well, we can before you can rules. I will Still on regulated rules. Right. Drake out. Okay. We'll figure out a way. While still staying on Starfleet's rule book. Without breaking it. Staying true to what we're supposed to be true to. Well, I guess I'm going to call it from here. Stay tuned for next time on Star Trek Online as we go into the past to fight the source of the Davidians. This has been another episode of Video Game Nonsense, the home of comedy, tragedy, and nonsense. For now and always, I'm your host, Max Nonsense, and I thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy the show. Smash that like button and comment down below. Click on that bell right after you subscribe, it'll let you know my uploads, and you'll be notified. And now, stay tuned for another episode of Video Game Nonsense, next. And cut! That's a wrap! Excellent! It's Brought to you by Nonsense LLC.